day three at Madex 2019 in Busan, South Korea. Today we're focusing on LIG Next One, who is showcasing many technologies, both current and future, for naval defense. Let's go check them out. On this exhibition, we are trying to introduce our capability about the naval solutions. We provide the many kind of the precision guidance solution to the Navy. This is a guided rocket. The smaller one is a 70 mm guide rocket, and bigger one is a 130 mm guide rocket. And this one is a, the the counter attack solution the, for the surface target. Can be operated at three targets in the same time with the guided ammunition. So 70 mm is provided for the vehicular solution, and 130 mm is for the surface ship solution of the Corvette. And this is a real scale of the ship-to-ship -ship missile called by C-Star. Then all, I'm very proud of all the Korean naval ship from the Aegis class to the Corvette class equipped with this ship-to-ship -ship missile C-Star. And among the, the naval the precision guided ammunition solution, I showed the slant launchers. But let me introduce about the vertical launching system, the guided ammunition. The first one is as rock, like a flying torpedo. Actually, the front part is uh, co consists of the lightweight torpedo, and the rear part is a is a engine propulsion. So once once launched from the, the vertical launching system, she can fly the, the several kilometers and separate it from the, the rocket and the follow the underwater mission. And second one is we call by the Sea Dragon is a ship to ground missile. That was basically the same to the Sea Star ship to ship missile. This one can be launched with the, the, from the, the slant launcher and also vertical launcher. And this third one is a real scale of the KSAM. KSAM means anti anti missile. That means this is a hard killer solution against the, the approaching hostile missile. Uh, this, is, this is a sample of the, the vertical launching system for the KSAM. One vertical launcher, we can Approach four missiles with the same exhaust. This is a lightweight torpedo Blue Shark. As you know, among the torpedo, we can say the lightweight torpedo and heavy torpedo. Normally, heavy lightweight torpedo is launched from the surface ship and helicopter and maritime patrol aircraft. So this Blue Shark is used by Korean Navy on the ship and helicopter and the P3 aircraft for the anti-submarine warfare. We are we are watching the surface ship. Then this side, we are the, our capability for the underwater underwater solutions. This is a big, is a real scale of the, our wire guided heavy torpedo called by Tiger Shark. So recently it was it was finished and it was accepted by the Korean Navy. Sooner or later we're gonna do the mass production. The, also we provided the the solution for the decoy against the, the enemy approaching the torpedo. This two one is a mobile torpedo, a mobile the TACM counter, the torpedo co cost counter measure. The, this one is for the surface ship launched from surface ship, and this bigger one is launched from the the submarine. And we have another kind of the the TACM. This one is from the the launched from the surface ship, and this one from the launched from the submarine. The difference between the two kinds is the front one is a mobile one. That means they can move outward from the my ship and this one is a hovering one. They keep the depth and the position after launching. Okay, this section is which shows uh, the, our CMS capability for the submarine. The recently we have uh, the submarine, the PIP program, that means performance improvement the project. The, during that the project, LID next one to provide the submarine CMS and replace it. So after after success of after successful the project, we found out we the evaluated by the Korean Navy, our customer, more than two times and three times the better performance than before. So we are very proud of that to show our capability about the CMS for the submarine. So not only the LID next one, not only the torpedo and decoy and CMS, but also we are very proud of that we can have a capability of the, 
the submarine, the sonar family. We are very grateful that LIG Next One is showing us exclusively their combat system of the future. This is the CMS room concept for the future KDDX destroyer of our Rocket Navy. This is their proposal featuring a 360 degree video wall and a tactical table with 3D holograms, a first in the industry. We are using the, the, the commercial technology from the LG, especially the, in the display area. We do the strong cooperation with the LG company. We provide all the kind of the sense, most kind of the sensors and shooters to the Navy. That means we can do the better integrated and the better to provide a better solution to the Navy. We are very confident about the future, the CMS concept and reality. Uh, this is for uh, Fleet Commander. This is commander for this vessel. And this section is for anti-air or fair. This left side is for anti-ship and anti-ground. And lastly, this is for the anti-submarine warfare section. I'm Mr. Zhang. Uh, it's a great uh, pleasure to introduce our uh, integrated mast. Uh, this is the uh, uh, integrated mast configuration of that that Allies Next mapped out and will produce soon. So I mast is all about future maritime warfare, and our main key approach for this development is the reducing. So first of all, reducing the RCS. Look at configuration; it's a little bit slightly twisted because uh, we need to scale down the RCS and the face is smaller than RCS is smaller. So even if enemy can detect our, our mast, it just only uh, show up like a small fishing boat. This is the key concept. This is a MFR for the S-band MFR and X-band MFR. So radar section here and, and all the communication system. UHB, VHB, and at the top of the uh, master there's Takan, and also EW systems are integrated in iMast. Only LG Next One can provide all kinds of sensor solution to Navy, Korean Navy. So for the KDDX, so LG Next One as a uh, iMast provider will be greatly successful. One of the uh, main uh, component is the multifunctional radar. We provide L-band, S-band, C-band, and also X-band. We can cover all the uh, different types of band solution for radar area. So this is the X-band radar we, we uh, developed. So this X-band radar will be integrated in on the top for the uh, short range uh, detection. And then for the long range detection, this S-band recover. So we'll, pro we'll provide the, our IMAS solution for Korean Navy with the uh, fifth floor concept. This is for a DDX, KDDX, destroy class. We also try to install this solution to smaller ship from destroyer, DD class, and frigate class, Corbett class. The so scalability is great. I think this, in, this one also good for uh, Korean Navy and also expected Expect his customer in, uh, in oversee. LIG, next, next one! one. <laughs> <That's it>. Good. <laughs>